What's going on, Culture Unplugged? Man, listen, it has been a uh, pleasure banging out some of these videos. If you just landed here, you in a great place. You don't want to go nowhere. You need to go ahead and like and subscribe, though. All right? If you're new here, you need to like and subscribe. I'm talking some gems up in here, y'all. All right? Uh, if you are returning, thank you. Thank you for coming back to Culture Unplugged and hearing me out, talk my shit, talk my mess, say it like it is, talk my truth. We talk about it. You know how we do. So every video, I try to do something a little different. I try to add something a little extra special. And to this video is no different. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any video I decide to put out. Um, and that means including sticking around for after this little short clip. Let's get into the best smelling colognes today. So without further ado, I got to get right into it, all right? So I love to smell good. It's something about smelling good, putting on a cologne that is going to be right for your body chemistry, but also for the way you feel, the way how you interact with women. This is the kind of stuff that women love, okay? A good scent. You want to smell really good for the one that you like. You want to be out. You want to feel like step your game up so that she already know what time it is before the day even starts, then you got to get with sense that's going to definitely maximize your potential. Let's go ahead and get started with Coach Your Plug, shall we? All right. So my first cologne, I'm going to tell you in the arsenal, because I have about a few right here. I'm going to start off. With, I'm going to have to start off with this one right here. This one is the uh, Carolina Herrera. Okay, it's um looks like a lightning bolt. Okay, lightning bolt. So then this joint right here is called the Bad Boy. So it's Bad Boy, no relation to Bad Boy Records. All right, but this is called the Bad Boy by Katharina or Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. Okay, this joint is like a nice. You could wear this at the office, fellas. Okay, you can wear this at the office. You can wear this pulling up happy hour. I kind of made this my everyday scent, like during the week, but then I switch it up on the weekends or I switch it up on special occasions. We'll get out. We'll get into more of that. Stick around to watch the rest of this video, not cut it off now. Stick around and wait till the end of the video. I'm going to try to drop these gems. But this cologne right here will have you smelling your utmost best. You can, I call it the dress it up. Dress down cologne. And the reason why I say that is because if you're dressed up, you can put this on. If you're dressed down, you can put this on. It's a nice, happy medium that you can use on a, like an everyday casual thing. Like you're going to work, you're going to a work uh, group thing after work with some coworkers, or you, you know, maybe you are going on a date, you could put this on, whatever. If she's not really all that for, like for real, for real, if she's just somebody that you just seeing for, you know, whatever that is. We don't, we ain't gotta tell nobody else. It's just you and me here. Uh, yeah, then this is what you would put it on, okay? So this cologne right here, it just has a nice um, scent. It's just, uh, I wanna say tangy in a way, but citrusy, very fresh, um, but a masculine, a masculine scent, okay? You know what a masculine man smells like. It's a nice, happy medium. I think you should get it, okay? So that's that first one. Let's get on into the next one, shall we? And I'm kind of going from order of my top favorite to, you know, least favorite, right? Okay. So then we've got the uh, Paco Rabone, one million. It's like a gold bar. It's not really where I really wish it was a million dollars in my hands right now, but um, it is the cologne, all right, that makes this cologne very special. This one is a little bit more uh, something you can wear and uh, you can put on, if you're doing like some fancy outing, you're going to the gala, you could put, you can use this. You are going to the ball, you can use this. If you are going out with the fellas at a nice little classy spot, you're gonna pull out this gold bar and you are going to scent yourself like the damn king that you are. I'm just gonna say this right now, this particular scent has been not a, not a I, I can't even, I, words can't even come out right because I'm I'm not doing this cologne any justice, okay? 
this the, this the kind of shit that a woman wants to smell you on. She wants to smell this on you. You might actually get laid that night after smelling. I'm just saying, listen, I'm just trying to help you out. The gold bar right here, okay? If you're a young man in high school or a young man, you know, anywhere right now, you're watching this video and you're probably cracking up. Let me just tell you something right now, my, my friend. This joint may get you that little prom date you've been wanting. All right, this might get you, this might get you that side chick right here. I don't promote that, but yeah, you, you know what I'm trying to say. This joint right here, it's a great smelling cologne. I'll tell this for any dude. Um, it's not something you wear at work because you're gonna have somebody looking at you like, wait, who the, who the fuck do you think he is? Like who do you think he is? This set will do it, okay? All right, let me let me get to the next one because I ain't got that much time. And y'all watching this video, and y'all think I'm playing. I'm gonna go for my least of favorite. Okay. Um, next up, we are gonna go with the Mont Blanc. We're gonna go with the Mont Blanc because this joint is like if you are a 007, if you got the feeling like you on some spy level shit, and you got a badass like suit. Matter of fact, you need to get you a suit too while we at it, talking about colognes and good scents and all that, you gotta get this mother effer right here. This cologne is the Mont Blanc Explorer. You will explore some shit like you've never explored before because it's that damn good. I'm not even joking to you. This cologne is uh, very special because I only put it on when I'm on some spy level shit. When I want to go on some shit I've never gone before, but I also want to be really sleek and stylish, then I would pull out this cologne right here and do something. You're going to do something with this cologne right here. Okay? You're going to get you going to get you this is what amps up and and upgrades your look. It upgrades you by 10 to 20 times. It puts you in another bracket. You may be broke in your pocket, but this right here going to make you feel rich. Okay, this right here, let me tell you something. This cologne, the Mont Blanc Explorer, get you some. It's at Macy's, I'm pretty sure it's at Macy's. You can get you at Macy's and get you some of this Mont Blanc, all right? Next, I'm gonna have to go with, and it fell down on the floor, is my Sauvage Dior. Sauvage Dior takes you to a, a, a whole nother look. Okay, so we talked about the spy, you know, the spy shit, we talked about, you know, the other scents that, you know, may get you some your everyday cologne. This is not your everyday cologne. However, it is your every fancy event of cologne. Does that make sense? Is that kind of cologne that is going to give you the scent you want when you're at that special engagement? You know, you had a nice little, you know, uh, gala or ball it's it's really nice for that. It's a good density with it. I just think it's a it's a rather sweet scent. It's not necessarily. I mean, it's masculine in its own right, but it's just. Let me just. Oh shit. Okay. I okay. Fuck. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. You might. Damn. You might have a girl proposing, getting on her knees, smelling the scent. You might get somebody to man. Yeah, you gonna have somebody doing some things for you ain't never asked for. This, mm, damn. You know how you gotta keep on smelling like that? Damn, like, damn, okay? Uh, mm, savage, savage. But nothing gets even greater. Nothing gets even as close, okay? Than what I'm about to bring up. The, I'm about to bring you the evil twin to the savage. Yeah, there's an evil twin to the Sauvage. You want to see the evil twin? Let me show you the evil twin. This is the Dior Elixir. This right here, this right here is the shit. This is, this is the shit. I love the Dior Elixir. The Dior Elixir will turn your ass from the Neanderthal licking thing you probably are right now watching this video to the damn goddess mother effer king royal that you need to be you you're gonna be crown royal you're gonna be crown royal with this dior sauvage now i told you a bunch of stuff about some other cologne shit that i got 
and they all are beautiful clothes in its own way, its own right, its own purpose. But when I get to this particular cologne right here, this particular cologne right here, I feel like I'm talking like I'm Cali. I'm not from Cali. <laughs> uh, this cologne right here, cuz, okay? This joint is fire. This joint will, will put you in a, a groove and like a mist. Like picture you in this, you know what I'm saying? Like aura of purple and you know what I'm saying? Black, you know, gold lights, all that shit. And you walk in and it's like steamy in the room and shit. It's outside, it's smoke everywhere. You're just coming out of the mist in a, like a silhouette. I know I'm talking a lot of shit right now. It will have you looking like you in your own world, your own paradigm. Nobody else exists. You're, you're, you're not even walking. You are floating, okay? Let me tell you what it's going to do. Let me show you what it's going to do to me when I put this on right now. I got the cousin, right? I got the cousin. That was a Sauvage. This is the elixir. Mm. <laughs> yo, 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 <laughs> listen, oh, damn, ah, oh, damn, damn, oh, yeah, that's good, ah, oh, that's good, oh, that's good, hey, listen, do your savage, y'all, do your savage, hey, let me know what you think in the comment section, I know it was really high on life today uh make sure you like and subscribe hit notification bell and leave a comment let me know what you think about this video which one was your favorite which one do you already have or don't have what are you looking to pick up what are your questions about the stuff that i talked about today and as always let me tell y'all something like and subscribe visit coveredinculture.com and let's see you for the next video let's get it unplugged